Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be checking out one of the best value products I've reviewed in a while because the Soundpeats Run Free Light come in at less than $30 US but exceed the quality of similar pairs that are over five times the price. Now this is a pretty unique product. It's a neckband, open ear design, earbud, suited mainly for exercising, but they do have some sneaky features that I honestly wasn't expecting. Now starting with the build of these, when I took them out of the box, it has a pretty cheap feel. They are a cheap earbud, but this does keep the product nice and light. The neckband is flexible, but it's not moldable. And the ear hook is just made of plastic, which was a little bit surprising. I honestly wasn't too sure how they would fit, keeping this in mind. So getting them on my giant ears was a bit of a challenge at first, but after a couple of goes, I got used to it. But still at times I'm finding I'm have to like wiggle them around to get them properly in place. And when looking at it, I felt like it wouldn't fit my head. I have a pretty large head and pretty large ears, but they fit me well, so they should fit anyone quite well. Now the comfort, even though the actual ear hook is made of plastic, much better than I thought. I do get some discomfort on top of my ears where the plastic hook rests after about an hour, but they're still wearable after that. Surprisingly, pretty decent. Now keep in mind, it's gonna be a bit of a lucky dip whether or not these will be comfortable for you since the ear hooks aren't moldable, but I feel like Soundpiece has put a decent amount of thought into it. It should work for most ears and head shapes quite well. The fit does have some issues though. First, I do find they're most comfortable when I angle the drivers up slightly, and this is gonna move the neckband around a little bit, but the angle that you have the earbuds is gonna massively affect the sound quality. The drivers have to be angled directly into your ear canal so it can push the sound into your brain. And they do sound surprisingly great with this open ear design, easily exceeding other open earbuds at four times the price of the run free light. But I'll talk about the sound quality a bit later, or you can just skip to it, I, I really don't mind. Do what you need to do. I have timestamps down there. Just make sure you like the video if you use timestamps or just like it in general, go for it. Now let's talk about how well they stay on your head and your ears when you're exercising because that is what these are targeted for. People that run, ride bikes, jump, I don't know what, what exercise you're doing, but I find it is the running and the cycling where these are gonna have the most benefit because this open ear design works in a way where it's not even like a semi in ear earbud like AirPods or Soundpeats Air 3. They still go into your ear canal, even though they don't have an ear tip, they do block out a bit of external sound. With the run free light here, it rests outside the ear canal. So it really is like you're not wearing anything on your ears. You can hear everything around you almost as good as just your normal ears would hear, if that makes, does that make sense? So this is gonna be perfect for running, not just because you'll be able to hear things and not get hit by a vehicle, because you get a very minimal amount of bodyborne noise from the impact that you make on the ground since there's nothing digging into your ear canal. You also don't hear your own breathing because of this. But I did find when running, the neckband will kind of bump up and down a little bit. And I also noticed when I'm looking left and right, because the way the neckband sits on the back of my neck, it does move the earbuds ever so slightly. So if I look to the right, I hear more audio from my left ear. If I look to the left, I can hear more audio in my right ear because the drivers are moving ever so slightly. So keep that in mind, it is a slight annoyance when you are running, you're gonna be looking where you're gonna be going. Same if you're cycling, you look around and make sure you don't turn into a car. So that's a downside of the neckband, but another benefit of the neckband there, I would say, especially when you are cycling, is that it's on your neck. So there's no way the earbuds are gonna fly out of your ears, which is an issue with true wireless earbuds. So you don't have to worry about accidentally running over your true wireless earbuds with your own bike, which would be very sad. Now, if you're thinking of using these with weight training, wouldn't really recommend it, at least if you're doing any exercise where you're gonna be like lying back on a bench or lying down doing a bench press, that neck band is gonna push and it's just gonna move the buds out of place. Pretty annoying and I also noticed this just using the earbuds like lying on a couch, lying on my chair here. If I lean back, the neck band will push the buds out of place. So keep that in mind. But if you wanna use these when training, they have an IPX4 water resistant rating. So fine against sweat and splashes of water, but you just can't submerge these in water. Now the battery life here is pretty solid. You're getting 17 hours in total, and that's gonna be at 50% volume. Keep in mind at 50% volume, these aren't that loud. You definitely wanna be listening above 70% because it's not actually gonna be in your ear canal. So you really have to crank them. Still, you're getting a decent amount of battery life. They charge via USB-C with the cable included. Now with the controls here, you're getting a physical button on the right side at the back of the neckband, and you can control everything here, play and pause, track forward and back, volume up and down. And you can also activate your low latency gain gaming mode right on the earbuds themselves. You can also do that in the Soundpeats app. And my only issue with the controls here is when you're adjusting volume up and down, you do have to wait like half a second between each click. Otherwise, if you press too quickly, nothing's gonna happen. So control your volume slowly and you're all good. 
Now connectivity here, just the basic Bluetooth 5.3, SBC and AAC codecs. And a sneaky little feature here is these have multi-point connection. So you can connect two devices to these earbuds at the same time. Very rare for a bud at this price. I think this is the cheapest bud that has multi-point connection, at least from what I've tested. Now I tested this on my iPhone 12 Pro and MacBook Pro. You just need to pause playback on one device before you resume it on the other device. And I did find sometimes it will take about 10 seconds for the audio to kick in, but it sort of works. Now, in terms of latency, watching videos and movies, you're all good. In terms of gaming latency, like I said, they have a low latency gaming mode. In my quick test, I did find this brought the latency down to a nice level, but here are my detailed results on both iOS and Android. So you wanna get around 200 milliseconds if you're into fast reaction games like shooters. As long as you're below 400 milliseconds, that's fine for more casual games. But now let's head outside and see what the call quality is like. I'll also compare them to some other open earbuds that I have tested. All right, so here I am in the outside world, currently recording the audio off my iPhone 12 Pro so you can get an idea of all the noise going on around me. All right, so here I am in the outside world with the One Audio Open Rock, Open Ear Earbuds. All right, so here I am in the outside world with the Oladens Wearable Stereo Open Ear Earbuds. All right, and here is the poor quality of the Soundpeats Run Free Light in the outside world here some cars zooming around behind me. All right, now let's talk about the sound quality. Like I said at the start of video, overall the best sounding open ear earbud that I have tested. I haven't tested many, but I will compare them to some other earbuds in just a sec. But the main difference between those other earbuds is when it comes to the bass response, because getting a lot of bass with this kind of earbud, they have to push out so much power with a pretty large 16.2 millimeter driver. There's no ear tip, so it's very hard to push out some bass but you do get quite a nice amount here with the run free light. It's mainly gonna be mid bass. Don't expect any sub bass here because you're not really getting any, but that's fine because the mid bass carries it through. So things like bass lines, distorted guitars, even vocals can sound very lacking if you don't have a nice amount of mid bass, but it sounds pretty full on the run free here. It does have a bit of a digital kind of bloated sound to it because it's mainly just mid bass, but I'm just happy to hear a decent amount for the first time on an open ear earbud. And you're getting pretty close to the amount of bass you're gonna get on a semi in ear earbud like the AirPods 3 or the Soundpeats Air 3. But because those earbuds are actually in your ear canal, you get a little bit more sub bass extension and a bit more punch with the bass. What is a bit lacking though on the run free light is the mid range and the treble. This is where those semi in ear earbuds start to separate themselves a little bit more but this is honestly just where you have to bring your expectations down. This is kind of just where the technology is at right now with this style of earbud. So the vocals are pretty recessed here. The treble has a bit of detail to it, but it's just not very direct. You don't get the best instrument separation here as well because of it. So you can tell the focus was put on the bass. And in my opinion, that was a great option because where a lot of other open ear earbuds do fail is with their bass. And I've only tested two other open ear earbuds, the Aladdin's open ear earbuds and the One Audio Open Rock. These are true wireless earbuds, so that's why they're more expensive, but they still have the same open ear hook design. First, comparing the Run Free Light to the Aladdin's, no competition. The Run Free Light sound better in every single way, mids, treble, and the massive difference is the bass response. The Aladdin's do have a way more comfortable fit though. Now the Open Rock wins when it comes to mid range and instrument separation, but it's a little bit lacking in the bass department. They do have a solid amount of bass as well as sub bass under 50% volume, but each click past 50%, you start to lose your bass, where on the run free light, you retain almost the same tuning all the way to max volume. So at those high volumes on the run free light, you get way more bass than the open rock. Now again, both of these buds are true wireless versions of this open ear style design, but if Soundpeats just took away the neck band, made them true wireless, they will be leading the charge in the true wireless open ear earbud market. And I'm assuming they'll be at a much cheaper price as well. And that would obviously fix the issue with the neck band moving the buds around when you're looking left and right. And what's missing from those other earbuds is app support. So the run free light allow for firmware updates, but you also get some EQ customization. You can only tailor the buds so much, but I did find increasing the treble slightly and increasing the bass did open up the sound a little bit more. The only real issue with the sound here is with how loud they go. One or two extra clicks would be nice but do keep in mind the angle you have the drivers at is heavily gonna impact how loud they are. For me, if they're angled down, I'm losing like 30% of volume. So if I angle them up and they do stay in place pretty well, they're gonna sound a lot louder. So this will differ from person to person. So overall, for the price you're paying, if this is what you're looking for, easily the best value out there. And if you wanna see how Soundpeats does this with semi in-ear earbuds, check out this video here where I compared the Soundpeats Air 3 at a quarter of the price 
to the AirPods 3 and see how close they get to them. So check that video out. In the meantime, stay picky. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.